Hi everyone, Tim Brown, welcome back to the iMovie Basics series. Uh, for this particular topic, we're going to take a look at filters for iMovie. Um, I'm using my iPad Pro once again, and I have a photo on my timeline here. I'm going to select it, and you can see here there's a menu in the bottom right, which is designed for adding filters. And as you can see, iMovie comes with some presets that are already built in. Typically, when you're using filters, uh, you don't want to overdo it. Most people choose one filter. Like a lot of films you watch include a, a filter that sometimes convey a certain time period. Um, so you do have some options that are available. Let me just quickly go through and share with you the different options here. Some offer different types of colorations. Some are very mo mo monochromatic or convey a certain kind of temperature or mood. Some are more fun. As in the case of this one, some of, them, some of them make you feel like you're going back in time and so forth. So there really are some nice options here. Uh, another way to use filters is to use them with overlays, which is a pretty cool idea, right? Um, for example, I have an overlay here that I added from another video. And here I actually chose to use a fun kind of a background. It's an interesting kind of contrast between the original video, which I, I recorded in green screen, and the background photo, which is underneath. So that's the one way in which you can be very creative with overlays and filters as well. You cannot add filters to overlays, unfortunately, but you can add them to your base layer, and it does offer for a very nice contrast. So try out the filters and see what kind of results you come up with. 